everyone, I'm your female Taku, and I'm going to review the finale episode of Mitoge. And if you're one of my subscribers that likes to watch the my finale episode reviews, wondering whether or not you should watch this series, well here is my overall thoughts of Natoge. And if you're the person who clicked on this review to see the actual episode review, just wait a little bit. I'll keep the time where you should skip over to for the actual episode review, but for right now, I'm going to give my overall thoughts on Natoge. Should you watch Natoge? It's not a must watch. It definitely won't be remembered. <laughs> It's, it's all right. It's okay. It's just a little something on the side to watch. I did enjoy the characters and the comedy was on point. I did enjoy the comedy. Animation was clean, very bright. I enjoyed that. There's a lot of game anime out there, you know, basically centering around the whole, oh my gosh, I'm trapped in an RPG world. What do I do? You know, there's a bunch of anime like that. But what's different about this game anime is that it's basically the, the characters are trying to help out this one girl, Akko, differentiate between the game world and the real world. So no one's trapped in a game world, no. They all have a video game club and they play, you know, online games and stuff. And they also have to try to balance out their regular school lives. And that's all it is. It's nothing, nothing big. I mean, if you want to watch it, cool. That's great. It's not a must watch. It's just something on the side, something you can, can can chillax to and stuff. Just overall, my rating, I gotta give it like a seven. It's nothing special. It's it's all right, man. It's nothing else I can say about that. With this episode of Natoge, the final battle commences. We have Alley Cats partnering up with Neko Hime's fan club, and unfortunately the Black Magician didn't show up, and I was really hoping he would, but he never did. I really like this guy. I mean, I know he said that he was busy, but still, it would have been nice if he just like made an appearance, but oh well. Master was the star of this episode, and I am so happy with that. Master, my waifu. Girl, she used her premium items, not exactly, like she sold her premium items so that she can get more of Drop of Yagdrasil so that when the time came, she could just use all of them so that she can become OP. It's like, oh master, you're ridiculous in how you use your money, but I suppose you used it well. <laughs> In this case, I guess she did. Just, Master was amazing. She shined. And I, oh gosh, I love her so much, honestly. <laughs> but the Alicats were able to take over the fort. They were able to beat Wallenstein with the power of teamwork. And then they were able to display their win in the front of the entire school to show off over at the school festival. And Akko, she was actually about to run away from her duty as the maid over at the school festival. But then Rushian, he's like, no, 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 come on, get back in there. And that's really nice. You really see that they're a couple that helps each other out. Rushian helps. Akko to face reality while Akko helps Rushion to see that the game and the reality world doesn't have to be too different. In fact, Akko not only helped Rushion in that aspect, but also helped Schwein. Because now you see they're all friends. They're all friends hanging out in public and it's nice to see. And at the end, Rushion and Akko did not kiss. I know a lot of people are probably disappointed in that. Me. I don't really care, <laughs> but I don't know. It's whatever, honestly. I don't expect there to be a season two. It doesn't need a season two. It's just fine the way it is. And I'll be honest, I'll be one of those people that's gonna forget about Nektoge within the next month. Catch me later as I review Cabinary of the Iron Fortress, live react to JoJo's Dire Adventure, live react to Space Patrol Luluko, review Usha Tutorial season two, and oh yeah, Assassination Classroom season two. Rufi Motaku, sayonara.